Today's workout is gonna be a Pilates mat workout using this medium sized ball. This ball is by Marathu. I will leave the link in the description below. If you have a smaller ball, you can totally make it work. My name is Jill Henson. This is my YouTube channel. And with that, we're gonna get started. Meet me down on your mat. You're gonna bring it to your back. We're just gonna sit the ball beside us while we take in some deep breaths. Inhale, breathe into the sides of the ribs. Allow your ribs to expand and then long exhale, release. So you want the exhale to be blowing out, almost like you're blowing out birthday candles. Inhale, breathing in through the nose and then exhale out through the mouth. Give me three more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. For two. And one more inhaling. I always like to start with breathing. And then long exhale to release. Now from here, we're gonna take the ball, we're gonna place it between the knees, and I want you to take it to a pelvic tilt back, abdominals pull in, we're trying not to use the glutes, and then bring it back to neutral. And back for three more. And two. And one. Now take a breath in, back to neutral, exhale, nod your chin, curl up off the mat, pull those abdominals in, take a breath, and exhale, lower. And we go again, curling up, looking at the middle of my thigh so I'm not all in my neck. Folks wanna tuck the chin here, you don't wanna do that. And back down. Inhale, exhale, curl it up. Now, from here, bring the arms around to the back of the head and you're gonna crunch it for eight. Seven, these are small, we're not going crazy here. Just giving the head a little bit of support. Squeeze the ball between the knees for two and one, lower down. Palms come down by your side, take a breath in. Exhale, pelvis tilts back, roll it up. Shoulders nice and open, inhale to stay. And exhale, vertebrae by vertebrae to roll it down. Bringing it back to that neutral spine. Remember, neutral is where your pubic bone and your pelvic, your, your pubic bone and your hip bones are in one horizontal plane. So if I sit a cup of coffee on, or water on your pelvis, it's not gonna spill. Palms are down, tilt it back, roll it up. Push the floor away, keep the neck soft and the shoulders open, and then roll it back down. Once more, Pelvis tilts back, roll it up. Now, holding here, squeeze the ball for me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Gently roll it back down. Very good, big arm circles up and around. We'll go to five of these. Nothing super fancy, not going back so far that we flare the ribs. And other side, reverse it. Two more, two, and one. Very good. Take the ball to the calves, bring the legs to tabletop, take a breath in, exhale, we're going for it, curl it up, extend the legs and you're pumping. Inhale for five, and exhale for five. Inhale for five, and exhale. And exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, you're halfway there. And exhale. Breathing in, exhaling it out. 
Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 80. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 90. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, hold. Bring the legs back to tabletop and lower down, building a little heat there. Take the ball into your hands. We're going to slide it back just a little and I want you to ooh, I want you to squeeze the ball between your palms fingers are open and we're going to curl we're only just coming up to the tips of the shoulder blades and lowering it back down curl it and back lift curl and back for four Three, two, one. Now option to keep it here or come all the way up. So I'm gonna lift, roll over toward my toes. It's up to you if feet are flex or pointed today. I'm liking mine flex, so I'm gonna keep them there. And then I'm gonna roll it down, slow and steady. And back, again, over. Try not to fall out of it for two more. I find this can be a very frustrating exercise for some people. No worries, I think it's just our anatomy and it's how we're built. So if you can't get all the way over, don't worry. Just keep those small little crunches. Good, all right, so let's take the ball behind the back. <laughs> You want to find a nice little spot right at the low back. Make sure you're nice and balanced here. Palms are out. I'm going to lift my hips lower. So it is a slight pelvic tilt. So don't think glute bridge necessarily here. It's not wrong if you want to do that. But I'm trying to go a little bit higher up. Target more above the navel. Four more. Don't let your head hang back. And you should feel a little burn right there in those abs. Two. And one. Bring the hands behind the head. Inhale, little tiny back bend. Curl it up and hold. Now, we're not going to take it back any further for now. We're going to curl it up. Lengthen to neutral. So I should be in a fairly straight spine right here. Bring it up and back for 10, 9, 8. It's a small movement. So if you feel like you're making it too small, I promise you're not. Don't put pressure on your neck. Allow your head to hang out into your hands. Woo, burn, burn. Okay, for two more. Two, one. Now find that back bend, if it feels good to you, and then curl it up. Inhale, find the back bend, and curl. Three more like this. Three. Exhale up for two. And one. We're gonna come up for just a second. Take a little break. Do you feel that burn? <laughs> and then we're gonna carry on. So now I'm gonna extend one leg out. Let me come back just a little bit. All right, one leg is gonna come all the way out. Opposite arm is going to lift up. All right, now from here, I'm gonna bring it up and cross it. So my other hand is planted on the mat, it's helping me stabilize here. Curl, find a little twist, bring it back. Curl, twist, for six, five, two more, two, and one. Very good. Trying not to get too wobbly with the other body, uh, upper body working very um, hard on stabilizing here. Arm is out, lift, cross. Bring it back. Up, cross, and back. Here we go. 
Five more. Four. For two. And one. And relax. Now open the knees wide, the feet wide, and you're gonna find a little twist back and forth. And then we're gonna use the ball for a little stability challenge. So you're gonna bring it to the side. I'm gonna stabilize here. So my hand is on the ball. If you're not comfortable for th with this right now, bring it to the floor or against the wall. Without the ball, totally fine. Hand comes behind my head. I'm gonna find that position where I feel super stable and I'm gonna lift, this is a challenge, and lower, lift, and lower for six, five, careful not to put too much weight into that shoulder. You don't want to dump into the shoulder here. I'm really carrying a lot of the weight in that standing side. All right, switch it up. Hand comes behind the head. This side will likely be more of a challenge for me. You may find that you have one side that's a little harder than the other. And here we go. Up and down. Stabilizing on my left is always a little harder for me than my right. For four, three, two, and one. Very good. Now, from here, we're gonna take it onto all fours. Knees are gonna come wide, and we're just gonna take it out for a stretch, little child's pose, and then roll it back in. Woo, don't lose your ball. And then we go again, take it out. Find the stretch. And bring it back in. Last one, take it down. Find the stretch. and bring it back onto your backs again or the ball behind your back we're going to take it to a little twist around the world okay so hands are going to come behind my head i'm going to lean to one side i'm going to pull back but i'm not arching here i'm not in extension i'm keeping that neutral here and then i'm just going to bring it around so flexion into neutral up and around Again, this can always be done without the ball if you don't have one or if you don't like how this feels to your body. And reverse it. I told a client yesterday, I said, I try very hard not to tell a client now or students of mine how they should feel things because we're all made differently and we're all going to feel things differently. Your body may not like something that I like, and vice versa. That's okay. I think that makes us super awesome. Okay, onto your bellies. Palms are going to come down to the ball. Now we're going to take it to a little extension. Little back bends here, bringing it up. Notice I'm not going crazy on these, but I'm firing my glutes to protect my low back. And back down. Press and lift on the inhale. Exhale, lower. We're going to take it up for three. And down. How are we feeling, you guys? Two. One more. And down. Good. All right, we're going to finish with some kneeling or standing side bends. I'm going to keep it on my knees, but if your knees don't like the ground, you can totally stand up. I'm going to bring the ball down by my side, squeezing it with my arm, and then I'm going to take it over for a little side bend, bring it back up and over. These feel super yummy to me. Down and up. We'll go once more, and then we'll take it four to the other side. Good job. Switching it up. Hand behind the head, take it over, bring it up. I'm not going over so far that this leg, this uh, opposite leg lifts. We're trying to keep it very grounded. Over and up. 
Good, come to standing. If you're not already standing, we're gonna take the arms overhead and then we're just gonna bring it down by the chest to the floor, roll it up, extend out, inhale, exhale down, tuck the tailbone, roll it up. We're just gonna finish with a little reset of the spine, take it down, lift it out, back up. Once more, down, out, and good job, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today for this quick little workout. Be sure you check out my other videos. Comment below if you like this video. Give it a little like. It all helps me, and I'll be bringing you more workouts. I come on every other Thursday at 12 noon, so I will see you next time.